great handball player, great tennis player, and a great boxing commentator. Glad to have you with me. And I'll tell you this, Benny, I'm excited about tonight's fights. Absolutely. When I'm really excited, we're wearing a bull ring. Did you ever ride bulls in this particular bull Not ring? Not in this place, but I did ride bulls, as you well know. <laughs> no, it is. It's a great night for boxing. We're in the happiest place on earth. And, you know, this kid, Will Feather Vasquez Jr., he, he is the happiest thing I've seen when it comes to Latin fighter. This Patrick Majeski taking on Joe Gomez. Exactly. Patrick Majeski is a guy... Uh, Actually, his real name is Shemisva, so we got to get that. That's a Polish name for, for uh, Patrick. All right, on the tail of the tape, you'll see a few things. Majeski's a couple of inches taller. He's down four pounds in weight, a little bit lighter. He's five years older, 30 years of age. The reach is exactly the same. Majeski's coming off a win. And last November, uh, Gomez had to win himself over Bernardo Garcia. So we've got very similar guys ready to go. And here comes... Joe Gomez, 17 and 2. He's from Aztec, New Mexico. As he told us yesterday, Benny. Well, he loves to go. He has 70 fights as an amateur. He won some regional titles there. He considered himself a very aggressive boxer. He's got a lot of KOs with those body shots you talk about right there, Colonel. He turned pro at 19, and uh, you know they live in a very rural area. This Aztec, New Mexico, but they feel, along with his trainer. Lorenzo Whitey, that they are ready, more than ready to go ahead and take that next step and that next level. And he's going to have a heck of a challenge right here with Patrick Mascheski. Yes, he is, but he's bringing up his three-year-old daughter, so he's got a lot to fight for. He's a compliance officer back in his small town of Azteca, and he has to fight for his life tonight. He's the WBC Mundo uh, title holder at 147 pounds. Tonight he's fighting at 166 pounds or a little bit heavier than the super middleweight division. This is Shemaspa. That's his real name in Polish, but his name is Patrick Majewski. Fights out of all of the great uh, Polish fighters are fighting out of Atlantic City in northern New Jersey now. This guy's from Random in Poland and a wonderful fighter. He's 13 and 0, eight knockouts, action fighter, 114 amateur fights. Benny, this guy can bang. Hey, they, all those fights are around that Philly area right there, winning some Philly Golden Gloves. Eight weeks of serious training for this particular fight. Loves to dig the body, work off the jab, and like he says, muscles are not for fighting. He says you just gotta make that that network, I mean, that knockout just happened. All right, we're set for our first night of the uh, fight of the evening. Jimmy Lennon Jr. is standing by. So without further ado, let's go to the classiest ring announcer of them all. He is Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome. Y a todos mis amigos latinos, bienvenidos, aficionados al box. Tenemos una gran noche de boxeo. Well, fans, we welcome you to Silver Spurs Arena here in the heart of Florida, Kissimmee, Florida, for our big night of action. The rising sun returns, and it's all brought to you by Felix. Tuto Savala Jr.'s All-Star Boxing, the new generation, and Corona La Cerveza Mas Fina. At this time, we present super middleweights in the ring. Ahora una atracción entre pesos super medio a ocho asaltos. Introducing to you our judges at ringside, presentando a los jueces. Matthew Podgorski, Mike Ross, and Michael Pernick. And our third man in the ring, our referee in charge, el referee es Frank Gentile. All right, fans, here we go with our super middleweights in the ring. We're scheduled eight rounds of boxing. Introducing you first on my left. He is fighting out of the red corner. Wearing blue trunks, he weighed in at 166 pounds. Presentando en la esquina roja. Con un peso de 166 libras. His record stands at 17 wins, two losses, and one draw. With eight wins coming by way of knockout. Su record, 17 victorias, dos derrotas y un empate. Tiene ocho ganadas por knockout. From Aztec, Mexico, please welcome Joseph Iron Man Gomez. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner on my right, wearing red trunks with white trim. He weighed in at 162 pounds. Su oponente en la esquina azul, pesando 162 libras. He is undefeated in his campaign to the ring with a record of 13 wins, no losses. Eight wins coming by way of knockout. 
con un récord de 13 victorias sin derrota con 8 de ellos por knockout. Fighting out of Atlantic City, New Jersey, by way of Radom, Poland, please welcome the undefeated Patrick, the Machine Majewski. Once again, a referee in charge, Frank Gentile, now to give instructions. All right, so we're set to go here with our first fight of the evening from the Silver Spurs Arena in Kissimmee, Florida. The Colonel Bob Sheridan here with Benny Ricardo. You're watching Doug Jacobs Integrated Sports, and this is a promotion of Tutu Zavala. In the red trunks, you're going to love this kid. They're comparing him in northern New Jersey and uh, around the Philadelphia area to Arturo Gotti because he's an action fighter. Let's see how he goes against Joe Gomez. Very fast hands has Majeski, and he's a body puncher. And he's an exciting fighter, Colonel. In fact, they're, 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 they're trying to pat him to be the next Arturo Gatti, to revive that Atlantic City area, to bring that action fighting that you expected out of someone like Arturo Gatti. So that's a heck of a thing to model yourself after. Well, as you know that uh, Tomas Zadamak, the heavyweight from Poland, is fighting very, very shortly. And should uh, Majeski win his fight tonight, he's going to fight in that card up in uh, uh, Newark, New Jersey. So we look forward to that in the main events fight. But right now, he's got to handle Gomez, who's in his 21st professional fight, 17, 2, and 1. He's got eight knockouts. He's not especially a big puncher, but he's a very good body puncher. He stopped a lot of guys with body punches. And as I say that, you see Majeski dip and fire the right hand right to the body? Well, he says he loves to dig the body, dig the body and work off the jab. Here's it, Majeski is interesting. Here's a guy who's uh, an exchange student who ended up staying here in the United States and just absolutely loves living here. Very Americanized now. Yeah, he's been in training for eight weeks right. and very punch serious out, training out. for eight weeks. He's coming off a six-round win over Lauren Mayers, and that was back in uh, May, May 22nd, is, uh, since he hasn't fought since then. So has been in training, though, that whole time. Just loves, he's one of those gym rats that just loves to spend time in the ring. By the way, it's the unified rules of boxing here under the Florida State Athletic Commission. Ten-point must scoring system, no standing eight count, no three knockdown rule. A fighter can be saved by the bell in any round and only the referee can stop the fight if we get into any accidental fouls benny and i will explain the rule as it becomes pertinent to this fight nice stiff jab by gomez circling around to his left continues gomez as majeski sets up in front of fires with the right hand catches him with the left don't hook. hold him don't hold him punch out punch out those are the words of frank gentile and we're going to see what kind of physical condition joseph gomez is in Again, when we talk about uh, Mischewski, he had eight weeks of serious training for Gomez. Not quite that big of a notice for this particular fight, but always tries to keep himself in great shape. I guess if you're a compliance officer, heck, you're always fighting with people anyway. <laughs> nice kid. I rode in from the airport with him the other day about midnight coming in from New Mexico. Right there, he just took right, two shots out, that shows out. that he can uh, take a pretty good shot. Now the left hook grazes the forehead. Right temporal ball on the right hand misses, just grazing the jaw of Gomez. Gomez hasn't landed anything flush, but as you look at the face of the uh, Polish fighter Majeski, he, he's a little bit red around the uh, cheeks, but that's uh, commonplace for the Polish fighters. Very, very uh, light complected guy. And so anything that uh, touches him, he swells up a bit and uh, shows the worse for the wear. Nice stiff jab by Gomez. Not a lot between him in this first round. But I think the heavier blows landed by Majeski. Bell ends round number one. How'd you score that, Benny? Well, you know, I, I thought Majeski got the better. I think Gomez was late throughout most of the time there. So I, you know, I think we have to go to Majeski on that one. All right, a little bit later on, we have a young fella from the Miami Herald and also from MaxBoxing.com. Armando Alvarez is going to join us and help his, us with his expert scoring. So you can look for that a little bit down the line here as we're in the corner now. Notice uh, that that's Bill Johnson, the son of Levanda Johnson, who was unfortunately and tragically died in the ring a year or so ago. And he's back into it now, and it's good to see Bill Johnson back in there. He's a wonderful, wonderful man and a wonderful trainer. Here's some of the action right there, and you're going to see right there, right off the bat, you see Mascheski getting the better of it right there as he pins Gomez to the ropes. 
You know, and he got pretty emotional. Bill Johnson did. You know, we were talking about to him, and then you know, you didn't recognize him at first. But boy, what a what a delightful man this is. Once I realized who it was, Benny, when we talked to him yesterday, I said, "Gee, Bill, you know, I'm very sorry. I did so many of Lavanda's fights, and he was such a great kid, and he was." And Bill got all, you know, choked up and uh, teary-eyed, and I said, "Don't, don't worry about it. You're exactly where you're supposed to be, Bill. You're supposed to be working with young fighters and." Hopefully, Lavander's looking down. And of course, Lavander, that was one of his plans, was to work with the kids after he got done fighting. And now his dad is. Okay, this is round number two. We're in Kissimmee, Florida. An up-and-coming Polish fighter with a huge amateur background, 114 fights, 13-0 as a professional in the colors of the Polish flag. That head. is red Watch and head, white. Guys. Is uh, Pat Majewski. And many you're good with these languages. His first name in Polish is Shemisva. Shemisva. Man, Shemisa Mashevsky. And you know, th th I'll tell you what I like about him. He, I love the way the fact that he's trying to dig the body. I don't think that's a natural thing for him to do, but I think it's great for him to try it. And I think that's really going to open it up for him against Gomez. Yeah, and conversely speaking, in, in, in our chats with Gomez, Gomez is doing a bad job of landing his body shots. And he's a good body puncher. He goes for liver shots. But watch the way Majeski is studied because he gets his right elbow down so he doesn't get clipped. Watch this. Watch him when he goes to the left hook. And watch how Majeski gets that right elbow down. This yeah. is a good fighter and a cerebral fighter. Nice yeah. stiff jab at time for Majeski. He works off the jab, does a nice job blocking don't the punches, push him off. uses his power. And you hear Frank Gentile saying, don't push him off. And sometimes you have to do that to get him out of there. Nice you know, stiff jab. That's the way to push him off. Exactly. Bill Johnson was talking about what a great listener Majeski is low. during the fight. So he's the guy that pays attention to his corner, does his things they ask of him. Totally focused. Look at those eyes. He's got eyes. It looks like the Hubble telescope. Don't hold him. Don't hold him. Punch out. Come on. Punch out. Gentile trying to get him out of there. And now finally Goma's going to try to go ahead and dig that body. Goma's trying to double up with the... And good left right there by Mischewski. Oh, he caught him with a nice shot right back to the right hand. Back comes Gomez now. Gomez is some kind of tough. Yeah, but his legs, his legs don't look very good right now. No, Turtle. they don't. They don't, Benny. You're right. Nice wide shot by a camera guys. Great job directing the show tonight. Ray, you're doing a great job. Uh, 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 stop. Keep your head up. And see, he's trying to get some mobility, Gomez is, but in the legs, they're just not there right now. But that stiff jab is, is hurting Gomez because that jab, Benny, we've talked about it before. He drives off the back foot and he delivers his jab as a punch. Now he goes to the body, drops the right hand, and look at the legs again. He's sloppy in the knee. Nice stiff jab again by Majeski. This is a nice round for Majeski. If there was any question in the first round, there's no question in the second round. Hey! There's the bell ending round two. Good job by Pat Majeski. Gotta pop him up a little more. Here we go to corner. Joseph Gomez, you see right there, Lorenzo Whitey, his trainer. Gotta pick it up a little more, okay? Tommy Martinez in there as well. Has he hit hard? He's asking me, that's Ludo. Is, 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 is he punching hard? He said, no, no, no. See that fellow in the black coat with the red tie behind him? Yes. That's uh, Paco Vacasel, president of the WBO, their convention coming up soon. And here's some of the action there, round number two. I gave the second round to Mascheski. I thought he got the better. He started out with a great body attack, then really started working that jab. And you know, Colonel, that's one of the things. When you eat a lot of those jabs, it's not necessarily your face that's going to hurt, but your back. Because it almost like snaps your and your neck out of place as well as your vertebrae. Uh, you're right there. The WBO convention in Cartagena, Colombia oh. starts next Sunday. And that was Paco Vacarcel, one of the most personable presidents of all of these sanctioning bodies. That took us out last night. And we had a great chat with him about boxing and the convention coming up. Boy, did I eat a lot of meat. Because my wife is a vegan. I don't see meat unless... I see it on TV when I'm home, so it's good to see some nice meat last night. Well, I raised cattle, as you know, in about seven countries, so I eat plenty of it, too, and I shouldn't. Five heart attacks, 14 angioplasties, and going in for another angiogram on Monday, so Dr. Singh will have some fun with me. Round three. They don't even put Kissimmee. you out anymore. Huh? They don't even nah. put you out. You just walk right through that. I have heart attacks like most guys get the flu. Do you go to the hospital or drive through? I drive through. <laughs> <laughs> Round three in Kissimmee in the red trunks. Pat Majeski. Sort of having his way against a very tough Joe Gomez. Hey, okay, Gomez okay, okay, from okay, Aztec, New Mexico. That's up in kind of the Four Corners area. 
Colorado, New Mexico. And Gomez has a good jab, too, when he uses it. He said, this guy's a good fighter, Benny. I mean, he's 17 and 2. He's only 25 years of age. Majeski's got five years on him, but Majeski stayed as an amateur for a long time. He had 114 amateur fights, and in Philadelphia, he was a Golden Gloves champ. And I tell you this, you're a Golden Gloves champ in Philly. You're some kind of tough. Absolutely. Those are some great gyms there. But I tell you what Gomez got to quit doing. He's, he's extending his arm. He's extending his arm. He's not bringing that back. You may hang clothes with those arms like that, but I tell you what, you're going to be on the on the ground there before you know it if you do that. Benny, when you have the wide shot, it'll show exactly what we're talking about right now. Majeski's teeing up, but in a wide shot, watch Gomez in blue. He pushes out his jab and doesn't drive off the back foot. The other guy in red, watch the way he drives off the back foot and really lets his jab go and turns his hip with the right hand. Yeah, Great you can shot. See the, yeah, you can see the flexion of the muscles right there, the calf muscles when he pushes off right there. We're looking, looking at Gomez. And the blue trunks, he's on his heels. Yeah, that's why there can be no power with his punches and why Majeski wants to smother him, because he knows that. Now we push him off, get him Don't set up. See, he pushes him off. Now watch him set up with a jab. See, paw, paw, no power, no power, no paw, bang with the right hand. Yeah, this, he's, he's too squared up, too. Very squared up on Barta Gomez. But, but Majeski, what he's got to do now, get some lateral movement. Get some lateral movement, work the body that way, especially digging the left hook to the body. That's open. Well, you just call for that, Benny, and that's exactly what he did. He drove the left hook right up underneath the right elbow of Gomez, and Gomez felt that. Majeski's fighting a very heady fight right now. This is a smart fighter. He knows stop, what he's doing. Stop, stop. He's a real athlete, too. He's a wrestler, played soccer in his native Poland, and he's been in very serious Watch training for eight weeks. Head. Watch coming in with your head. Very serious training means he hasn't been around any women for eight Yeah, weeks. well, that's we one of the questions we always ask him. Loads up the right hand. He should go to the body a little bit more. Ducks right, into the you, wild shot of Gomez. You. Gomez is a typical Mexican-style fighter. He is some kind of tough. Stop. All right, the bell ends round three. Well, you know, I mentioned that we've got Armando Alvarez joining us, who... Does a little bit of work for MaxBoxing.com as well as the Miami Herald. Amanda, we're going to bring you in now and find out about how you see this fight and the scoring. I see it three rounds to nothing for Majeski. He's controlling the fight with his jab. He's the, the fighter that's more active. He reminds me a lot of Tomas Adamek, the way he has this tight style of fight. What Gomez needs to do from now on, if, if he can, is go to the body. In the first round, he landed a left hook to the body, seemed to bother Majeski, but after that, he stopped going to the body completely. He should go back to that attack, but I got a three to nothing Majeski. It looks like it's his fight tonight. Benny, I agree I with got Armando. Well, I got him all. You know, Armando knows quite a bit about MMA as well. I've gotten the chance to work with Armando in some MMA uh, fights down here in Florida, so great to have you. Thank you. And Armando will be joining us uh, every so often. We'll bring him back in to get a third for a perspective on scoring since we don't have a good pal so, so, uh, Harold Letterman with us we got Armando <laughs> so we got three judges right here then, yes right? we do <laughs> here we go round number four Silver Spurs Arena Kissimmee Florida is the site the principals in red Pat Majeski from Poland living in the United States trains in Philadelphia works in northern uh, New Jersey Joe Gomez from Aztec in New Mexico training in this fight Benny, what's he got to do, Gomez, to get back in this fight? Well, he's got to quit going straight back. What he's, he's trying to get some movement here, but I don't think that's really his style of fighting. What he's got to do is move laterally and then work the body. Dig the body like Armando was saying because he's got to slow down Mascheski a little bit. And the way you're going to do that is to work the body first. Throw those lefts up to the body. That's just air if you go for the head. Well, the way I see it, and he's not going to change. He has no power. He's taking a lot of punishment right now. Big left hook. That hurt him. He might be in trouble here as he leads forward to Majeski. Boy, I tell you one thing, if he wasn't in such great shape, Gomez would have been felled by that shot. Last time I saw a head snap back like that was Aaron Pryor to Alexis Arguello. And Pryor didn't go down either, you know that? Uh, wicked, wicked stamina on the part of Gomez. I did that fight in the Orange Bowl in this very state of Florida many, many years ago. Well, remember when that head snapped all yes, the way I back? Yes, I do. It was the bottle. Look at this. I tell you, I give Gomez a lot of credit because he has no power right now. He's very sloppy because he's fatigued. He tries to get back under control, but he's not throwing his jab with any authority. He's tentative inside, and watch Majeski just tee off on him. And Majeski's being smart here not to try to go ahead and get frustrated with the fact that he's landed some great shot, but Gomez is still right there. Keep working. Keep chopping that tree. What he needs to do is go downstairs to the body, drive that right hand to the solar plexus, and hurt him to the body. His hands will come down, and then he can... I mean, there's just no quitting Gomez. This is why I love professional prize fighters. 
these guys, I got so much respect for him. Right, Gomez right, is getting out, the daylight. Out. He's being beaten from pillar to post, and there's no quitting this guy. He hasn't been down yet, but he's getting beaten up pretty good. But there's no quit. He keeps striving. He hasn't been down, and he keeps attacking Majeski as best he can. Majeski rips him with the right hand that time. And look at this. It just ignites Gomez. This is why I love prize fighters. I'll tell you what. I'm never messing with a compliance officer ever again. This guy's some kind of tough. And it's a small ring, Colonel. 18 by 18 ring. Yeah, it's perfect for punchers. Nobody can run away from you here. Majeski's taking advantage of that. He's just teeing off on this guy. He needs to go to the body a little bit more. He's very patient right now, which is good. Double, double, double with the jab, then ripped the right hand. Didn't quite catch him, but he's got the right idea. Up on his toes. This is a good shot to give you an idea how tight this ring is. 18 feet. This is a puncher's ring for sure. And it's not hard to find right there your opponent in this particular ring. You see it now, the mouth of Maszewski stay open, so he's looking for air. Well, he's throwing a lot of punches. Digging body shots by Majeski. This is good stuff right now. Showing patience, a little bit of fatigue on both sides. The belly is round four. Remember, this is an eight-round fight in Kissimmee. And I'll tell you what's taking a beating so far. It's uh, Maszewski's hands. His hands got to be hurting right now. He has landed one shot after another the head of Gomez. Nothing seems to be working. There you see Bill Johnson in the corner of Shemisva Mascheski. Again, Benny, nice to see Bill Johnson back in it. So hard to recover from the loss of a son. And here in that small ring, action here from round number four. And do you see that was that wicked left right on the button that Mashevsky landed. There it is, rocking the head of Gomez practically all the way back. But yet, look at that. Gomez is still there. In fact, that ignited him. That's the difference between a professional prize fighter in shape and one that isn't in shape. This is round five, Silver Spur Arena, Kissimmee, Florida. The Colonel Bob Sheridan, along with Benny Ricardo, and in joining us, our young friend, Armando Alvarez, who's helping us with the scoring. Glad to have Armando along with us. And you see, a, there's a mouse now below the left eye of Gomez. Well, the face of Majeski is taking a little bit of punishment, too, because Gomez is getting some jabs through there and some right hands every once in a while. Not a lot of head movement by Majeski. As he moves up, he's got to develop more head movement. When he Let closes go, the gap, out, he's got to throw. I like the way he pushes off, although Frank Gentile doesn't like it. Yeah. And in the corner, Bill Johnson was telling him to throw that straight right. And then after you throw the straight right, dig the, the, the left hook to the body. Because that's what you want to do. Keep that combination going. I'd like to see him dip Benny and drive that straight right hand to the body. Come, there it is, right there. You see that? That's exactly what I called for. And that's exactly what he did. Do that a couple more times. And no matter how tough Gomez is, he'll wilt. Beautiful. There's a big body shot again. But look Come, at Gomez counter, though. Uh, he's tough. He's very tough. But I tell you, he's getting punished right now. These are tough body shots. That's exactly what I call for. And this kid is cerebral. That's why he's doing it, Benny. He knows how to fight. And he's very relaxed, too, Colonel. That's the other yeah, thing. Yeah. He said muscles are not fighting. He says, you know, what you got to do is just keep working and be smooth. And that he is. I feel bad for Gomez, and I love Majeski. I love what I'm seeing here. He's raw. He's still raw. He's got a lot to learn as a professional. Remember, he's got an extensive amateur career. Learn to set down on his punches a little bit more. See more of that body shot. He's got the real good body shot. He showed us the right hand. He showed us the left hook. He showed us how tough he is. But now, you know, Gomez is dangerous on that counter, Colonel. Gomez is very dangerous. Watch, he'll dip down from there, and all of a sudden from there, step right into it. He, he is, Benny, but he doesn't have the same power that Majeski has. Majeski's got eight knockouts in his 13 fights. Gomez has got eight, and this is his 21st professional fight, so he doesn't have the same power. But this is the toughest fight that Jose, uh, or rather uh, Joe Gomez, he likes to be called Joe, so we'll call him Joe. Uh, this is the toughest fight he's had against one of the better fighters. Again, only his uh, 14th professional fight, but a host of international fights as an amateur, so a lot of experience. Digging body shot, chopping right hand, just grazes the jaw. Joe Gomez taking a lot of punishment. Loads up the left of his own, and it sails over the head of Majeski. And that takes out a lot of energy out of a fighter when they're missing that bad. You see his hands now. His shoulders are sore. His hands are sore. He's missed My about six punches in a row. A few shoe shine punches on the inside. Gets ripped with a left hook. 
Closing seconds now. This is the fifth round of a Schedule 8 rounder, and it's all Pat Majeski. All right, the bell ends the fifth. Majeski having it all his way. And here is Joe Gomez, and again, his trainer, Lorenzo Whitey. Got to come back with something a little harder, right? And then they're applying that ice below the right eye where that mouth happens to be. That's the end swell, Benny, and of course that brings it down. But I mean, look at this guy. He's not really huffing and puffing. And by the way, Mrs. Kelly would love her, wouldn't she? Oh, yeah, Mrs. Kelly. That, that's the lady letting us know it is round number six. Here's some of the action right there in round number five. And again, it's Mascheski taking the fight to Gomez, backing him up with that straight jab. And it's a sharp, sharp jab. Excellent footwork right there by Mascheski, the way he's able to come around on it. All right, here we go. This is round six, Silver Spur Arena, and a wonderful venue for boxing. This was built for professional rodeo, very much like our pal uh, in uh, Las Vegas in the uh, South Point. Uh, it's very similar sort of arena, so you folks that are in Las Vegas watching can appreciate this is a beautiful venue for boxing. Rich, that's uh, Rich Niedermeyer, right? That's right, Niedermeyer. Pledge, pin, pledge, pledge pin. pin Niedermeyer. Pledge pin Niedermeyer. I haven't seen Rich in a while. I get it over there. Michael Gunn has done a great job taking over that place. Yeah, Tom Mikovic doing the marketing. Great people. Digging body shot again by Majeski. Again, Majeski and my score sheet has won every round. I think you agree. And uh, young scorer, Armando Alvarez, is right there with us. So uh, all of us are in uh, agreement. But Matthew Podgorski, uh, Mike Ross, and uh, Michael Pernick, all judges from the uh, Florida State Athletic Commission are the official judges. But I'm pretty sure they're right in line with the... Uh, Majeski uh, beating up Gomez. What do they know, Colonel? <laughs> one, th one thing for You've sure. done 895 championship fights. And over 10,000 <laughs> on radio and TV. A lot of them in this state, you know. I started out in Florida in 1966 calling fights for Chris Dundee and probably did about 7,000 fights on radio before I even started the TV. First world title fight, 1968. Jimmy Ellis and Jerry Quarry for the heavyweight championship of the world. Tonight is my 895th world title fight. So, And I still love it. That's it. And but right now, you see Gomez now just pawing the shots out there. See him, see how slow he's looking yeah, now? But see, Benny, he's backing up on his jab now, which is even worse than throwing it flat footed. And notice the other guy, Majeski, he's up on his toes. See the way he drives and pushes off that back foot? It's all about the back foot with the jab. Larry Holmes taught me that years ago. He had one of the best jabs of all fighters. Not only was a great heavyweight champ, and I think maybe the greatest heavyweight champ. Yeah, he just followed the wrong guy. Yeah, he followed, followed the, the he wrong followed guy. The greatest. I'll never forget his fight against Kenny Norton when he won that fight with one hand. Oh, and one of the greatest fights of all time, I'll tell you that, for a heavyweight fight. This is round six. Kasemi, the principals, Majeski in red, the color of the Polish flag. Nice body shot that time by Gomez. But you know what? He was out of position because his elbow and, and, and his kind of his shoulder was full when he ripped that left hook. And so you can't get any power with your shoulder in that position. And, you know, Bashevsky still pushing. And right there, Gomez looking at Frank Gentile, saying he's pushing me back. But what I'd like to see on Bashevsky, though, he's still not turning that jab like I would want him to. Still not turning it completely. He I think it would be a lot sharper if he would turn that wrist. Yeah, Benny, he, he makes a lot of mistakes. He comes straight in. He has a nice little dipsy doodle, but he needs to dip a little bit more. He did it in the last round when he threw that straight right hand of the body. He's not going to slow down Gomez by these headshots, but he will if he goes to the body. Running out of time now in round six, so there's a couple more rounds to go, and it's been all Majeski. The bell ends the sixth in Kasemi. Boy, that's, it's amazing right here. Now, watching Joseph Gomez right now, he looks fresh. Unbelievable with the beating that he's already taken. Look at him. He's huffing and puffing a little bit more, but by golly, he's some kind of tough fighter. Armando, come on back into us. Armando Alvarez, what do you got on the score sheet? I have it 59 to 55 for Patrick Majeski. I gave that last round to Gomez. I thought Majeski took the round off. Gomez, although he was going backwards, he wasn't really coming forward, but he was popping the jab, hit, hit Majeski with a couple of good shots, and then every single tough shot that Majeski threw at him, 
he missed. I thought this was the best round that Gomez has had in this fight. Let's see if he can continue this way or if Majeski picks it up again in this round. You know, I like that I scored it the other way, but, yeah. but what I like is in a close round, Amando, to get your opinion, because one thing I've learned from going to the uh, conventions of the associations is that 40% of close 10-9 rounds, professional judges disagree. So you're not wrong, I'm not wrong, Betty's not wrong. We all have our own opinion, and I love your opinion. I think you made some good points, and I like that. Thanks, Bob. All right, here we go. This is round seven. Now, by the way, we've got a big audience down in Australia watching. My driver, Alex Vela, who's head of the Rebels Bikey Group down there. You know, one time I asked Alex to pick me up in his Rolls Royce, but I wanted a motorcycle escort. He asked me, would 20 be enough? <laughs> <laughs> when the president arrives, he gets about six, I get 20. So the Rebels on a Sunday afternoon in Australia, hope you're enjoying watching the fights. My good friend Angelo Haida watching as well. We're glad to have you and everybody down in Australia. One of my favorite places to go to call fights. And of course, I'll see Jeff Fennick at the WBC convention, which is in Cancun in a couple of weeks. So, Jeff, we look forward to seeing you there. And all of a sudden, now Mischewski a lot sharper with his shots. Yeah, Mischewski in the, in the red trunks. And, and this kid, Gomez, there's just no quit in him. He's doing his best he can. Wide with his shots now because he's fatigued, okay, but there's no quit in this kid. Gomez is a guy, Benny, I love to watch him fight because he's just so tough. But let me ask you something. He lives down in Aztec, New Mexico. He can't be getting quality sparring right there. But then you're of the agreement that you don't want your guys sparring that much. I don't want professional fighters sparring as much as they do. I don't think they need it. I think that they need to work in their conditioning. He works in a gym that's loaded. Oh, he got right caught. Hand. That's a turn on him. This might be it. He's in big trouble. He's staggering on his feet. Frank is looking in his eyes. Frank Gentile says a couple more headshots and it's over. That's, That's it. it. Yeah, good call. It's all done. Good stoppage by Frank Gentile. It'll be scored as a seventh round technical knockout victory for the up and coming from Poland. Another Polish foul. Patrick Szymiswa Majewski. Well, I just thought he came out in that seventh round so much sharper. He came out with a mission there. He was going to end it. And boy, all of a sudden, those shots got a lot sharper. He caught Gomez with the right hand, and that was the beginning of the end. But I'll tell you what, Joe Gomez, you are one tough son of a gun. Love you, Joe. Sorry it what didn't work out. I tell you, and this kid, I absolutely adore him as a fighter. I want to see more of him. I want to know more about him. I'm going to talk to Polish television afterwards and I'm going to brag about this kid. I told the Polish guys on TV last night, I was on with them for about a half hour, and I told them what I thought of Adamak. I also told them what I thought of Pope John Paul II. I love him. All right. <laughs> Saint Pope John Paul II someday, you know. Well, they're going to canonize you in Poland, huh? Oh, they love me in Poland. <laughs> <laughs> and I just got back from Turkey, you know. I was in Afghanistan, uh, and uh, also we did a great wreath laying ceremony uh, down in Bulgaria for the troops, the 200 guys that died bombing the oil fields in, uh, in Bulgaria in World War II, and I was proud to be part of that, and all the staff at the U.S. Embassy, uh, really, really happy And to how be many bodyguards do you have? I always have six with me six when I'm in the Six bodyguards. The Colonel has six bodyguards when he travels abroad. Now, here's some of the action. Check out, dig the body right there, and there's the left hand. And he followed up that left hand with the right, but it was the left hand that got in. By then, Gomez's hands were down, and right there, Shemisa, Shemisva Mascheski was finding. There's that right hand. That right hand, I think, is the one that did it. Now comes the left, and right there, Frank Gentile really looking into the eye of Joseph Gomez right there to see how he's reacting. Finally, he's seen enough. Enough of those headshots without Gomez throwing any shots back and stopped it right there in the seventh round. Well, a terrific fight and a great finish for Patrick Majeski. We still have to make this official, so let's go to our ring announcer, Jimmy Lennon Jr. We're waiting to get Jimmy's mic adjusted, and as soon as they do, we will have it on, and we'll make it official for you. All right, James, let's try it again, my pal. Still no sound for Jimmy Lennon, so we're going to make this official as soon as the house fixes his sound and his microphone. We can tell you it's a seventh round technical knockout victory for Pat Majeski, and now they're getting another mic to Jimmy. And we'll have it momentarily because I hear a rumble in the background. And uh, the sound boys are working feverishly to get this taken care you want, of. You want to guess the time? 
Uh, go ahead, give me your, your I'll, guess. I'll say one minute, 12 seconds. What do you say? I'll say mind? 113. All right, Jimmy Lennon Jr., you set my friend. Take it away, my pal. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, no, I'm not set. Check, check. You're all set, James. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of one minute, 50 seconds of round number seven. Our referee in charge, Frank Gentile, stops the contest. Con el tiempo, un minuto, 50 segundos en round numero siete. He is the winner by way of technical knockout. El ganador por knockout technical, Patrick the Machine Majewski. The people in the arena barely heard Majewski. I think they get the idea, but they haven't got the sound squared away. But Majewski had a great, great fight. There he is. I think Jimmy's going to have to announce to the house one more time because the house hasn't heard it yet. So you folks bear with us. A little technical problem here. Go ahead, James. If they can hear you and they still can't. So our boys are working at ringside here. The Come only on, reason we're doing this, get up and scream it yeah, out. The only One reason minute. we're doing this is because we want the people in the house. Two, two, we two, know two, that everybody uh, uh, at home two, has heard it, but two, 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 we have to get the announcement made to the people in the arena. One, two, two, one, two, one, two. It's not very strong, but here's Jimmy Lennon again, the great lungs. Ladies and gentlemen, indeed, the time is one minute, 50 seconds at round number seven. Un minuto, 50 segundos, round numero siete. A referee in charge, Frank Gentile, stops the contest. The winner by way of technical knockout, and he is still undefeated. Patrick, the machine, Majewski. So finally, the arena gets it squared away here, and uh, Jimmy Lennon is able to let the people in attendance know that Patrick Majewski has won this fight on a seventh round technical knockout victory.